Today I want to talk about King Arthur and comic books. Who was King Arthur? What was his story about? And what have comic books to do with him? Let's go and find out. King Arthur was a legendary king whose rule is traditionally situated in the 6th century. Most probably he did not exist at all, but if he existed he became known for bringing order and unity to England and for defending England against foreign invaders. From the 9th century onwards Arthur's stories became popular in both France and Britain and from the 12th century onwards these stories gained more permanent shape. Two versions of the Arthur legend became especially prominent and these were later turned into comic books. The most canonical version of the Arthur legend was written down by Sir Thomas Mallory. Thomas Mallory lived in the 15th century during the War of the Roses, a civil war that lasted 30 years and tore Britain apart. And during that civil war Mallory was captured and imprisoned and while the war raged on, Mallory turned to the legendary King Arthur who had once brought order and unity to England. So he turned back to the past but used Arthur as an example for his own present. And while in prison, Mallory collected all the stories that he could find about King Arthur and turned them into one book. Although Mallory wrote his book in English, the title is French. Le Mort d'Arthur, The Death of Arthur. We know now that this is because of a mistake made by the first publisher of the book. He mistook the title of the last section of the book for the title of the whole book. Nowadays we think of this as a happy mistake, because the title suggests that despite all the good works of Arthur, he will ultimately succumb to his fate. This turns the Arthur story into something like a Greek drama. At the beginning we know how the story will end, but nobody can do anything to stop the drama from happening. The second interesting thing about Mallory's book is that it is written as almost a compendium of all the Arthur stories that are out there. The style of writing is almost biblical. We are introduced to a dizzying array of characters and Mallory chronicles all the things that they do and that are done to them. Mallory focuses on the what. The why, however, the motivations of the characters, their internal dialogues, their internal dramas, they do not get a lot of space in Mallory's book because he wanted to bring everything together. Things are very different in The Once and Future King written by T.H. White. In the 1930s, White decided to retell Mallory's story but update it to his present because once again England was threatened by external and internal enemies and once again people were looking back to England's past to seek answers for England's future. White bases himself on Mallory but at the same time he uses a much more loose and humorous style. For an example Merlin is not a smart wizard, but a somewhat goofy character who apparently travels back into time. And halfway through the story, White makes an offhand remark stating that King Arthur actually is not a very interesting character. However, White's version of the Arthur story is in reality very smart. He focuses on a limited amount of events and characters and focuses on the internal motivations and internal dialogues of these characters. We really get to know them and start to live with them. This dichotomy between a heavy set, solemn version by Mallory and a looser, more humorous version by White is also reflected in the ways that King Arthur has been turned into comic books. Of course, there are dozens of King Arthur comics out there, but here today I want to highlight two comic books that really build on both Mallory and on White. The first one is Le Mort d'Arthur by Matthews and Sweeney. And as the title suggests, this one is based on Mallory's work, both in tone and in content. When we look at the graphics, we see that they are both very realistic 
and very solemn. We get a very serious version of the Arthur story here. Matthews, the author, is a renowned King Arthur scholar. And in 2003, he was the historical advisor to the King Arthur film. The only thing that they try to do in this comic book is to try and disentangle somewhat the myriad of characters and stories that they were involved in and at least hint at the internal motivations of the characters. However, the strength of this comic book lies in the fact that it stays very close to Mallory and so we are indeed confronted yet again with a dizzying array of characters, events and stories and it is up to the reader to make sense of those. Very different is Once and Future. Remember that White's Once and Future King was a loose take on Mallory? Well, this comic book is a loose take on White's book. What is the story here? In 2020, a group of English white nationalists find the Sword of Excalibur and they use it to bring back to life King Arthur, hoping that King Arthur will again rejuvenate the country bring order and unity and fulfill the white nationalist dream of racial purity. However, when King Arthur is brought back to life as some kind of zombie king, it turns out that he is actually a Briton and that his goal was always to rid England of the foreign invaders, the Anglo-Saxons. King Arthur restarting his quest may thus mean the doom for all the people living on the British islands. Instead of rejuvenating the country, the white nationalists may bring about the country's doom. In Once and Future, it is now up to a group of hippies and outcasts to fight a genocidal zombie King Arthur. And the only weapons that they have at their disposal, next to guns and bombs and swords, are alternative versions of the Arthur story because, as the comic book states, every story gains power once people start to believe in it. And the main thing that these people now need to do is design, develop or rediscover different versions of the King Arthur stories different from those told by the white nationalists with their ideas of a racially pure Britain. Of course, this comic book is much more than just a play on books that most people do not remember. It has fantastic artwork, it has engaging characters, it is very exciting and there's both swords and guns in there. But what I like best about Once and Future is that the story becomes even more engaging the more you know about King Arthur. If you love comic books and want to get to know more about King Arthur and his legends, these two comic books are truly the places to go. Thank you for watching this episode of Classics into Graphics. If you like this episode, click subscribe and ring the bell, and I'll see you next time.